That's so cringe. Like, he's just gonna play distance, bro. Dude, really? Oh my god, rogues are so cringe, dude. Like, what am I supposed to do there? Oh my god, Thanos. Welcome to my PvP guide for chads. This is how you're going to be able to dominate every game that you're in, like I do. As many of us know, if you ever come to my live streams, high roller players don't even stand a chance. No, uh, fuck! No way! <laughs> I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done! Even the regular goblin caves and the regular crypts. So, if you're not running this build, you're going to be trolling your game, and you're probably going to lose a lot of gold out of it. You're going to be wanting to run Shadow Runner, Double Jump, Ambush Jokester, Hide, and Weak Point. If you haven't seen Rogue for Dummies yet, I suggest you would check that out, as it tells you what to do levels 1 through 15, and there will be a solo Rogue soon. We're going to be using the Hand Crossbow and the Rapier, as they are definitely the best in slot weapons, along with the Castilian, which I'm going to show off. This is what you're, you're going to want to bring, health potions, everything, all this. You, you, you don't need all this, I just have it extra, and I don't obviously have space. So, we're going to go into a regular goblin caves, and I'm going to show you guys a few things, and then we're going to hop into some high roller gameplay of how to fight every class. So, let's get straight into it. Oh, now we have a levitating goblin. That is, uh... Okay. As you realize, this is the normal rapier swing. And how does your main combo usually go? Your main combo is usually you're going to want to start out with an M1 to bait an attack. You can also recycle the animation by doing this over and over again if you want to, to try to over hits. But, after using the main combo, what you're going to want to do is pop weak point and hide. Then you're going to want to sprint at them with shadow runner, and you're going to do damage. And then boom. This guy's really annoyance. When fighting other rogues, in this example I'm stealing a high roller cave troll, simply waiting out their invisibility or hide is your best course of action because they will have no ambush damage. The first one to pop their abilities basically loses. If you have a rapier, you will win to everything but a ambush crystallion. That is about it. Make sure to pop a protection potion and do not miss your abilities. Double points if you can hit a hand crossbow shot. When fighting wizards, be sure to keep your distance. Zap is very strong and can two shot you, especially when it's a high ruler. This wizard was very stacked. He happened to have Ignite, so he tried to rush me and he died. Ignite is also very strong, that's why he was running it. Always just try and win. I mean, as long as you don't get fireballed, it's very easy to dodge. Chain lightning, also very easy to dodge. And magic missile, which you can use your hand crossbow and during the animation to cancel it. If they're hasted, just be careful and listen for your footsteps. It's like playing against another road. It's pretty simple. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Going against rangers is all about closing the gap, making sure that you try and break his LOS as much as possible, and also watching out for traps is the way that you're going to win. Being able to close the gap and force them to run so if they turn around that they can't kill you instantly, especially after wasting triple shot or their rations, is your play. Using the hand crossbow is vital to winning fights, even a great one. Like October? Yeah. Where? Vegas? Mm hmm. Fighting against barbarians and fighters is very simple. Their weapons are very slow and very easy to dodge. Simply try and pressure them and bait down an attack and then go in for a swing or two and then jump backwards. Or, if you know that they're going to die, fully commit and win the fight. Double jump if you want to block some of their damage by forcing them to hit you in the legs. There's a rogue behind this rock. He has nowhere to go. He already popped his hide, so the fight for him is already over no matter what happens. As long as I hit my hand crossbow shots or I'm on top of him, I will burst him faster. 
So, all that you need to do is wait it out. There's no reason to rush and there's no worry for to happen. All you gotta do is wait. Hitting crossbow shots against fighters and clerics if you take the fight for some reason are needed. Me hitting these two shots and then popping him with a weak point is the only reason that he dies. Since I pull it out and I wait for his swing, the falcon swipes from left to right on your side. If you dodge the first hit, the second one's going to go from the right to the left. So if you can easily dodge at least one of these, you can probably win this fight as long as you've hit them beforehand. Make sure to stray from left to right. As this rogue does here, when he double jumps to try and block my swing, he's trying to force me to hit his legs. This is also a strategy that you should use if you're all inning a fighter or a cleric. Clerics have a disgusting amount of HP. This guy was full blue. I had to make sure that I hit these crossbow shots or it's very unlikely that I'm going to do enough damage. He hits me in the legs here and then hits me in the torso. If I don't play height there, I definitely get headshot and die. Playing height is a good way to be able to outpoke and out damage your target because they're not able to do it. When fighting barbs, make sure you're being careful. You can actually double jump over most attacks like I did in this barbarian. As soon as he's hit with weak point, he's basically very dead. Kill barb. If I bolt back. Here's a perfect example of what I've been trying to say. Make sure you bait out a swing or two, hit with your crossbow, then go in and double jump to negate some damage and go for the end kill. As since I waited out both of his abilities, we are good. It is a free kill as long as you do not get headshot. Just be careful. Again, since I see nobody here, that means he has hide. You can bait out a rogue's hide by just walking straight into them and praying they walk at you. Just make sure you have an approximate idea of where they are and then double jump backwards. And then once they have no ambush damage, you have both of your abilities up and you basically have a free kill. Cleric is your hardest matchup. This guy from the start of the video was a very good cleric. You have to bait out as many spells as possible and play distance as he said. And then you can very easily go in for a kill by jumping over shield hits and holding him one, which you can do. Uh, waiting for him to cast judgment to get an opening on some damage. And making sure you hit your weak point. Playing distance here and waiting out buffs is the most important part. You can also kind of dodge judgment if you're strafing enough and you're fast enough because they kind of have to aim it. God Thanos. Well, I wasn't recording that fight. Anyway, I hit this guy like four times. So now all you're gonna do is wait. Oh, don't miss, but I'm just gonna wait out all his buffs. He, he doesn't have any range, so he can't really hurt you. Stealth weak point proc. of attrition man that's all it is hey guys i hope you guys learned a thing or two from this i know i didn't go over warlock right, or bard but bard is a useless in goblin caves uh you kill him first anyway if you're trying to kill anybody 
Uh, and Warlock acts the same as a wizard or a fighter. Just don't get close ever and just do the same thing. Uh, I really wanted to thank you guys for 2500, which is nuts by the way. It's only been like a week now. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the footage of me stealing this guy's cave troll. And yeah, uh, stream later. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this wasn't like an insane like information, like stats and all that. But you know, check out Rogue for Dummies. Check out the early access guide for best and slot stats, etc., etc., etc. And have a good one. I mean, there's nothing more to go over other than, I guess, you know, play the game, learn more. All I can explain is my thought process. So, have a good one, guys. Peace. I'm giving you a night call to tell you how I feel.